Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to do a favourites. It is almost the end of September. I cannot believe it. But yeah, we're going to do a favourites. So it definitely is the end of the month. So I hope you enjoy it. The first thing we're going to jump right in with is the Pixi Glotion Day Dew. It's a brightening lotion. It's almost like a moisturiser and I just pop it all over my face. It sits really well under makeup and just makes everything look a bit more radiant, which you definitely have to love because you can no way have too much radiance. The next thing always comes out this time of year and I always love it every single year. It's the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. This time of year, my skin gets really dry, so I really need glowy products to make sure that there's a bit of moisture in there, or at least it fakes a bit of moisture for me. So this product is insane for that. If you suffer from dry skin, or your foundation tends to split, not sit right, all those sorts of things, I would definitely give this a go, just to see if it fits with your skin, because every year, this is the only foundation I can use from that change from summer into winter. So, had to make it into the favourites. Another thing that pops into the favourites once every couple of months is the L'Oreal Super Liner. I've never found a liquid liner like this. It's got this really thin, do it here, really thin nib, so you can just sort of place along. It makes it so easy to do a winged liner. And yeah. I have probably spoken about this before on a favourite, so I'm not going to bang on, but it's the best. I love it. And I definitely repurchase it all the time. Mascara wise, I'm loving the Too Faced Lashgasm at the minute. It is just the perfect mascara for me. I am one of those people that just never really do well with mascaras. I switch them up every couple of months. I'm never really completely happy, but this one is doing so well so far. So it's got a little bit of a curve so you can really get in and go upwards and it's a spiky plastic brush which always seems to work the best for me some people like the sort of real hair brushes or hair brushes whatever some people love that I don't so I don't even bother thinking about it but yeah this is perfect for me dark colored just gets all your lashes nice and separated and length in there so who could ask for more another one i've been loving is the revlon photo ready perfecting primer i just really like it it's i don't need a primer i don't think it does much of a difference for me but it definitely makes me feel like my makeup sits better don't know whether that's true or not but i feel like it maybe lasts a tiny bit longer and sits better because I've got quite greasy skin so sounds gross but <laughs> so yeah throughout the day I notice grease coming onto my skin whereas when I wear that it maybe takes a little bit longer it doesn't stop it completely but it takes a little bit longer for that to happen another one that I have definitely put in a favorites before is the Huda Beauty Venus liquid matte I absolutely love the liquid mattes from Huda Beauty. They are insane. They last ages, they've got great colour and they don't make your lips feel like chalk. So I would definitely recommend if you haven't tried them. They are absolutely brilliant. They're not a bad price either. They are on the expensive side but not too expensive so if you're feeling like you need a new liquid matte, these are the ones for you. Finally on the makeup-y side is Carmex. I mean, who does not love a lip balm around this time of year? And I have never actually tried this brand before this year. I've always obviously heard of it and seen it and people quite like it and all that sort of thing, but I've never personally tried it and I love it. It's no different than any other lip balm. I'm not gonna pretend it's magical, but it's just easy. I love the fact that it's in a little pot. Some people might not like that, but I really like that. It's really just an easy thing to have, so yeah got a little shout out for that. The next two things are hair related. First, these little clips that you can get from Boots. I love these. And it was only until I'd pretty much broken all of the other ones and hadn't used them in maybe like a year or so. Uh, not living with my sister anymore, she used to have these all the time. So not living with her anymore for probably about a year and a half now. 
I didn't realise I didn't have any and then the other day I wanted to put my hair out of my face but didn't want to have it up in a bun because we all know that that causes kinks and the lot so I really wanted one of these so I went out and bought some and it was only when I bought them that I realised how much I loved them again. So that was a very long story <laughs> and probably one you didn't want to hear but yeah uh, it's definitely something that I love and just makes life so much easier. You can just pop your hair back, whack one of these in and it also makes you look like you've had a bit of an effort rather than just chucking your hair up. I always look like a greasy mess when I chuck my hair up. I never look effortless. I'm not one of those people who can throw my hair in a bun so yeah these make me look like I've made a little bit of an effort but I'm still being lazy. And another one that I am being completely lazy but it still makes me look like I've made a bit of an effort is the Batiste Speed It Up. I actually look after Batiste so of course I'm gonna say it's amazing but this is actually amazing. Um, I hate drying my hair, absolutely hate it. I've tried loads of different blow dry accelerators and love love other ones too so it, this isn't the only one that I've literally adored but for the price point I think this is amazing. Um, it comes in three different ones but this is my favourite scent. This is frizz taming. I don't really need that but I just like the scent. Um, so yeah, this is great. It adds shine, obviously speeds up your blow dry so that's a winner in itself. Anything that will save me time I am all over that. And the final two things are homey and people are probably sick of hearing about them by now because I heard about them maybe like a week ago and they are already sold out so I don't know whether you'll be able to get them by the time you watch this video. So Aldi have basically brought out a range of diffusers and candles that mimic the Jo Malone ones. I am not one of those people that will pay loads of money for Jo Malone unless it's maybe a present or a special occasion or stuff like that. I just don't buy that sort of thing all the time. I'd rather go with different brands and see what other cheaper options there are out there. So when I saw this, I had to run out and get some. So the diffusers look like this. Um, this one is lime, basil and mandarin. So I have this around my house and my house smells beautiful. I think the smell's not as strong as the Jo Malone's but it does the job and it is literally pff, less than a quarter of the price. Um, so these are all 3 dollars both the candles and the diffusers are 3 dollars So yeah, I think for the sake of maybe you'll have to burn two at a time, that's literally still worth it. So yeah, there's two other scents in this, I think, or maybe three, but I've only managed to get hold of the number one, which is Lime Basil Mandarin. And then the other one is the candles. So again, I think there's three or four scents. I have managed to get, I think, at least one of each. Um, if there's three scents, one of each. If there's four scents, then I haven't got the fourth one. But this is pomegranate, and then there is some other scents but this one is pomegranate. Like I said I think it doesn't smell as strong as the Jo Malone ones but who cares $3.99. So that's it for this video I hope you liked it everything will be down below if you want to go check it out so I will see you in the next one. Bye! Well nipple balm but it's well known for being a lip balm.